Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Matt Hollander. Well, the weather in Wisconsin is going to be far from ideal for the next three days. But actually, I think today is probably going to be the nicest day. Not great, but the nicest. Because a lot of the day is probably going to be dry. Check it out. I don't think the rain chance begins until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. And probably even then, only for places like La Crosse, maybe Winona, Minnesota. I know it's the better chance of rain really back into Minnesota, around Minneapolis, Mercado, Madison, probably still even dry at 3 o'clock. Though I will mention that by the time we get to homebound commute time, 5 o'clock, the rain will probably be pushing in. Also, one other thing I want to mention, there is the possibility, especially north of Madison, that it'll be a wintry mix initially late this afternoon, early this evening. Uh, notice there's shades of purple showing up. So honestly, in those shades of purple, there could be some sleet coming down. There could be some rain coming down. There could be some snow coming down. And it could be switching between the two. You might have rain and snow at the same time. Uh, so that's a possibility, really, from Portage on up to north. So even initially around La Crosse, Winona, wouldn't rule out a little bit of a wintry mix. That said, temperatures are actually going to be warming during the overnight hours. So the chance for a wintry mix will be going away. And it's looking like widespread, uh, moderate rain during the overnight hours. In fact, the best chance of rain for the entire state, for precipitation in general, probably about 1 a.m. tonight. That said, let's talk about the morning commute for tomorrow. And unlike today, where it's going to be dry, there's going to be quite a bit of rain across Wisconsin. Now, again, we'll be past the peak of the activity, but encountering some light rain and still some pockets of moderate rain, yeah, that's uh, definitely a possibility. And notice it, it is all rain, Chippewa Falls, La Crosse, Portage, Madison, Racine, Kenosha. The wintry mix now limited to the far northern part of the state. As we go through the day on Wednesday, I do think the best chance of rain is in the morning. And it'll gradually get drier, though the chance of rain is going to be sticking with us. Here's lunchtime, 1 o'clock. Notice some gaps showing up. So some will be catching a break, but for others, the rain will be continuing. And I got to say, even for the homebound commute, though there will be some folks that will be dry, the chance of rain is still there. And notice... Around Chippewa Falls, the chance for a rain-snow mix coming in because there's going to be a warm front lifting across the southern part of the state, but right behind it, a cold front coming in from the north. So after we get into Wednesday night, our chance for snow really starts to go up. Now, particularly at midnight, notice that rain-snow line pushing into around Baraboo, it looks like. We're probably all in the snow by midnight on Wednesday night for Chippewa Falls, La Crosse, Winona. Probably still going to be rain in Madison, but unfortunately, now we're talking about Thursday morning commute. Notice the rain snow line maybe right along Racine, Kenosha, but probably in the snow. And could there be a brief period where some heavy snow comes down? That's a possibility for the Thursday morning commute. That said, probably the cross, Winona, Chippewa Falls, maybe a few flurries, or you might even be dry. Finally, you know, the activity out of here it looks like by 11 a.m. on Thursday, maybe some isolated snow showers will try to sneak into the afternoon, but the bulk of the activity will be over with. So I'm throwing a lot at you trying to cover the next three days. And I don't want to talk about snow totals just yet because I'm going to be curious to see how this rain situation sets up and how warm do we get with this warm front before we start talking about snow totals. Uh, but I am getting pretty confident about rain totals for most of the area, and half an inch to an inch of rain, though there will be places that see more than that. Uh, a couple of spots could see up to two inches of rain. One of the places that's more likely to see that is Green Bay. I uh, know Chippewa Falls, you have a better chance of getting a, a total over an inch, but I do think the majority of us, three quarters of an inch is probably going to be the average half an inch to an inch of rain, which is good news considering the ongoing drought across much of the state. Uh, so that's rain totals over the next three days. Finally, let's wrap up talking about temperatures. So today, notice low 40s, upper 30s, really across central and southern Wisconsin on over into Minnesota. Unfortunately, it's not going to feel this warm because it's going to be a windy day with gusts 30, 35 miles per hour. So there will be a wind chill factor. Now the winds die down tomorrow. And look at the warm up for the southern part of the state. Madison, 57. Kenosha, 59. Portage even, 53, La Crosse, 52, but Chippewa Falls, warm front doesn't get to you. It's only a high of 40 degrees. And it's only a one-day warm-up. Because we look at Thursday, obviously we're going to be cooling down if we're talking about the chance of snow coming back. And sure enough, everybody cooling down. Chippewa Falls, not as dramatic, just cooling down about 4 degrees. But look at Madison, only a high of 35 on Thursday. Kenosha, 39. And the winds are back. Gus 30, 35 miles per hour, so we're talking about feels like temperatures in the 20s.